Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I'm bringing the DIY back. Um, I'm going to show you exactly how I created this silver, purple, platinum, gray wig from start to finish. So what you're going to need is some 27 piece hair. This is from the Milky Way collection in the color 613. And then you're going to need some hair dye. This is the Adore in the color 150 platinum. And then Funky Fruit by Avatar um, in the color violet. And then you're also going to need some conditioner. It really doesn't matter as long, so long as it's white conditioner. And then you're going to need a applicator, a comb, as well as a spandex cap for assembling the wig. And then a shower cap to protect your hair, of course. You're also going to need some super bonding hair glue in the color white. I picked it up from Sally's Beauty Supply. And as optional hair clips or white clips. So I created a base for my application. Uh, this is completely optional. What I used was a box, some scissors and tape, and an old plastic bag. Now I started off by cutting up the, um, the plastic bag and attaching it to the box as you'll see. So I just kind of cut it open and then cut off the excess that I didn't need. And then I just taped it onto the box. Now again, this is completely optional if you feel like you don't need, you know, this kind of surface to apply the dye to the to the webs. You can totally just do whatever you want, but I found that this was pretty handy. So next we're going to move on to the hair. So I kind of just took everything out and uh, just laid it out. So you have your four pieces, three bundles of the, you know, long, medium, short, as well as the closure. So what I'm doing right here is I'm taking each bundle and taking about, I would say, six wefts out of, I believe it's eight wefts that come in each bundle. So I just take six pieces from each. And then the great thing about this is that you don't really need all of the hair, so you can totally use it for another project. So now what I'm doing is I'm just taking uh, each of the wefts that I have and then just kind of laying them out flat and then using some straight pins, I just pin it to my baseboard. So you now see what I was uh, coming up with. It's a pretty good idea if I, uh, you know, do say so myself. Now honestly, I wouldn't recommend doing it in this exact fashion. I would actually just cut off the excess wefts that don't fit on the, on the little board. Um, just because it w makes it a little bit easier to just go like apply the um, apply the dye that way. So next we're going to move on to mixing the dye. You're going to need everything you see here, especially those gloves because it gets real messy. And so what basically what I'm doing here is I'm just kind of playing around with the proportions until I kind of found the, the right color that I was looking for. All in all, I would say the ratio was a 3 to 2 to 1 ratio. So mostly conditioner, a lot of silver, and a little bit of violet. And so next, pretty self-explanatory, you're just going to apply the dye in even brush strokes. And then go back in with a rat tail comb and just evenly apply it to each strand. And then you're just going to simply remove the wefts and careful with these straight pins. I kind of stuck myself a couple times. Definitely take those out. <laughs> and then you're going to continue the same process with all of the wefts and your closure. For the closure, I kind of just applied it in a spiral motion. And now, time to rinse these babies out. Make sure you thoroughly rinse it out so that the water runs clear and there's no soapiness or things like that. And so right here, what I'm doing is I'm setting my hair dryer to the medium heat. And then I pinned all of the wefts to my bed because it made it just easier to keep them all in one place. And then they should look like this once they're finished drying. So assembly time. All right, so you're gonna put your handy dandy shower cap on followed by your sexy ass spandex cap. Oh yeah, look good. All right, and then you're gonna start building up each piece by measuring it out starting from the nape of your neck and then you just glue it and attach it and then you blow dry it just to make sure it's completely dry
and then you just keep on layering it and layering it until it fully wraps around your head. Oh, kill him. Oh, kill him. Kill him. Oh. Yes. So yeah, you're basically just going to keep repeating this process of gluing, securing, and blow drying until you uh, get up to the very, very tippy top. And then once you have a little room for your closure, you're basically just going to stick that right on there. And blow dry it to secure it into place. So we're going to move on to styling now. Alright, so you're just going to brush everything down or comb everything down. And then taking a little uh, shearing comb, whatever this thing is called, so I haven't figured that out. You're just going to layer it. I really just did it arbitrarily, like wherever. I felt like it needs to be shorter. So basically what I'm doing here is I'm dividing the sections, um, really the layers, so I can get each individual weft and start using my straightener to curl it. And then, bam! Sexiness. Go ahead, girl. Thanks for watching. Bye now.